Gonna smoke our bacon this morning. It's done curing. Our new cow is out there. We're gonna manage her today for the first time. I don't think the calf got over either. The wall washers were here yesterday. Hopefully today they're coming to do the waterproofing. Our basement wasn't waterproof correctly or had worn out and was leaking. Hence the total utter destruction of our front yard. Really? Looks like my smoker's a bit buried. What you doing? For you. Okay, let me get the ergo and him some pants. Mm -hmm. Hey, dude, you're really supposed to be on the counter? The no. So get off the counter, bro. Okay. It's cold out. You're going to want a sweater. I don't know if it's sweater weather, but she's extra sensitive to that stuff. Girl is there. The nearest outlet is in there. Might be easier to one run across the street to the barn. Did I just bring my smoker over here? The grill's over here. All right, fate. If it works, these two cords get over there. We'll just leave it where it is. If not, we'll bring it here. Why is this off? I don't know. This is not right. Oh it wasn't tight enough. Gideon, come step on this so we don't pull it. No, step on that end. No. Yeah, the, there you go. I don't know. That's all we got from here to there. Think it'll do it? Uh-huh. I think there's no way we're going to make it. I think we're already there. Uh-huh. Well, you know what I said. Uh, I didn't want to move this because I don't want it to be far away. And it's terribly heavy. We will do for bacon, y'all. I'm happy. We're smoking bacon. Oh, Let's go milk some cows. I know what I want for you, Mama. What? On my birthday, a bouncy house. Mm. What about dinosaur eggs? You've been bothering me for dinosaur know, eggs. You still I'm want doing dinosaur eggs? I'm this for later, but this is for my birthday. Okay. We've looked into it. 16 bucks, you gotta stay with me for three days there in chores. I know, this is one of those. It's gonna be one of those days. Okay, Can at I the end, that? I'm gonna say yes he did or no he didn't. No! Can I do that so I can buy some plus for three days? Yeah, well, I wonder what it would be you, that you would wanna buy. Not really anything, maybe gas? Yeah, nothing, for, oh, okay, yeah. That'd be $16 for four gallons. These young'uns, these little ewes are gonna go, we gotta, Couple more little ewes over there. We gotta get them later today up on the hill because nachos coming down, it's breeding season. They didn't need a single alfalfa. But they did poop in it. The other sheep saw that? Saw that? Be a shame. Alfalfa is an acquired taste like coffee, I guess. But once they get used to it, they get addicted. Oh, that's, those are hilarious. You like those shoes? Keep your little feet warm? Okay. Aw, he's trying to kick them off. <laughs> First thing we gotta do is management. I'm thinking we heard everybody over. The tricky part is the little calf. We should probably get some And then heard boards. Flossie and the cat and Flossie's calf back over. And just get the calf off of her as soon as we can. We're gonna lose some milk. Pig boards? Mmm. Uh, Staffs will be alright if we... Okay. New cows and the new situations are tricky. This is how I handled it. One, I didn't want to make too much change, so we left the calf on her. She just moved to us. She just traveled. She's in a whole nother herd, whole another place. I'm not gonna then take away the calf also. So 
everybody stays together. One little change at a time. The second thing you wanna do is get folks separated. So we got the milking of Flossie out of the way. And then we isolated our new cow, Honey. Third, it's like coffee to them, alfalfa. If we can get her eating alfalfa out of this pan, we might be able to lead her down here. She, got, she don't know that call either. Can we get her all the way to the stanchion? I know, she's a great cow. <laughs> it's way too easy. Yes, we got her to the stanchion. Can we get her through it? There it is, there it is. We did it. We did it. All right. Control. If we control the cow's head, we control her. And she can be in there, we can stand at ease. Everything's gonna be okay. Now we want to approach her. Here's the approach. I go in from behind. They're very unlikely to kick you from behind like maybe a horse would. So I'm going behind, I'm going close. It's scary going close, but it makes sense. It's more like a, a rub, a push like this as opposed to a punch. You're going to be nice teeth. Are we going to put our calf up tonight then? No protest. No protest. Woo! Well, these are nice teeth. If they get kicky, if they get antsy, if they're nervous, just make sure we milk them all the way out. Because if they were to kick or move and you stop milking, what is that telling the cow? It's telling, if I kick or move, they're going to stop milking and annoying me and, and they're going to move on. Unbelievable first day. Milked her, got the rest of it out, just got her used to it a little bit. Good job, honey. You did good. That's actually her name, honey. That's very fitting. Together. Come on. Come on, honey. Come on. Let's go. Sugar. Boy, you did good. You're a good one. Nice teats. First time hand milk. Didn't kick me too much. <laughs> Jonah Dunn left us to take the machines and there's no water in the cows. You've stayed with me so far, my man. Good job. There's no extra trough here. Back there. Yeah, that's, but the calves will need it when we separate them tonight. So let's go get an extra one. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right, good. I, I'll agree with that. More interesting for y'all, he wants us to get started on the luchadors, he'll do the water. Get in, are you keeping up? Here he comes. <laughs> what he'll do for some dinosaur eggs. There you go, good boy. I love it. Well, you guys destroyed this. Okay, it's off. Some say kudzu is a problem. On a permaculture farm, kudzu is not a problem. The only problem is how to get lambs to reach higher than that, because look, look, look at what they've done. It's as high as they could reach. Absolutely destroyed that, turned that kudzu into nutrient-dense lamb. Let's mow the next paddock. We're bringing the young ladies up here, and we're gonna get them two down. If I want this to last them a week, we gotta go a bit bigger than we did that time. I think we could probably get through right there. That's probably a good spot. Hit a snag. Too big for the string trimmer. Does Grandma have any loppers? She does. Ran out of string. I'll get what I can with the loppers. Probably have to go back for string. Uh, I think I cleared this enough without the string trimmer. 
Let's get the net up. And then we got training. Nook and cranny farming at its best right here, babe. Super frustrating. Look how far we are. Yeah. It's 15 feet short. Are you serious? Yeah. So we're gonna have to handle this after physical training. Well, it's not even running. Oh, it's filled up with pellets. This has been the most finicky pellet stove smoker. Start again, I guess. What was the problem? It was smoking this morning. And the fire went out, couldn't keep up. We got it once again. Dogger's running, but it's not running all the time. That's probably good. Seth, our contractor, is here, and we're gonna talk to him about a possible root cellar since we already have this all dug out. Have you ever built a root cellar, Seth? No, but I've seen several. Okay. We're gonna have to get you that book maybe too, Beck. Yeah. Yeah, we're thinking block. I think it is a... Just off the top of my head. It's like block, yeah. it's just like a cinder block room under the ground. You want it to be covered with dirt on the top. Yeah. So we would come in at it from right here. Okay, so the access would be that's, yeah. that's one question. And you'll probably have to do a retaining wall right here since you're going to have to displace some of that dirt this way. Yeah, and to put the dirt over top of it, Yeah. you would need a probably a suspended yeah. slab of okay. concrete okay. going over it. Um, just to box it in, make your four boxes, and probably would you want it to be a concrete floor? Or would you want it to be like a gravel floor? Or? I think that's what we need to find out right now. She's going to get that book. Because I don't know. <laughs> Root cellaring. You got to have a cold air in at the bottom and a warm out air out at the top. Don't Are you guys know. seeing your yeah. problem? We only had stucco. We didn't have waterproofing. No, there was no so waterproofing was on this side. And this wow, we did our... pretty good for having nothing. Yeah. We did do pretty good for as long as we did. Did you guys know, according to Jacob, that weight training is the single best thing you can do for longevity? Look at you, new horse riding boots. Yeah. Horse riding lessons today? Yeah. Enjoy. They're putting on the waterproofing. You got this, I'll go move the energizer over here. walking in, I didn't expect that. I was hoping to get everybody in the trailer so we could just lead Nacho in here, leave the fence down. It's gonna be a little trickier, but not that much trickier. All right, let's, let's go lead Nacho down. All right, let's see if they follow you. Come on. So now do you guys see why we want to train these sheep to <laughs> He just walked them wherever the heck they they want. He wanted them to go. How do they like it? I think they just want more alfalfa. Love it. There you go. 
skittish. Okay, we'll, we'll pull this up, we'll shut this, and then, we'll them and then we'll herd them all into the new area, okay? Do not spook them into the fence. Hey. Traction is with the old paddock. Come on, buddy. Him. He thinks there's other stuff in the other paddock. Come on, come on. This is the problem with the tame sheep. <laughs> Let's get their fence up and on before these little guys test. They're already testing it. Four-ish hours. Bet it's ready. I'm calling it. 153, close enough. 154, come on, one more, one more. 155 is textbook. There, it made it. 155, I think we're gonna have this for lunch. Put this in the oven. 325, slow cook that thick bacon. How was the horses? Good. Did you do your boots? She loved yeah. them. They worked out? They were so cute. The she teacher loved so the boots? Cute. Yeah. Okay, good. They help you? I guess so. What well, do you her think, other right? ones, her other ones her? were eaten by the dog, so. Uh, this is and these are English style boots. Correct. Look at how the bacon turned out. You can't, you can't buy this bacon. Made some cheeseburgers, toppings, condiments. Lunch was delicious. That was fun, guys. I couldn't imagine it going any better. But you definitely want to stay tuned. We're going to see if Honey will keep on going, go back in there. We're definitely going to start separating her calf and see how much milk she'll give us. I think we're going to be swimming in milk very soon. You don't want to miss us. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.